Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is another YouTube first. How many people have lined up four different lathes to talk about the diameter of the spindle bore? Probably nobody, because there's really no call for this, but you might find it interesting. So what we have here is the little Unimat lathe, and this is a six inch Atlas Craftsman, they're the same thing. This is a nine inch South Bend lathe and it's called the tool room lathe, but it's only a nine inch, it's not the 10 inch. I thought it was a 10 inch when I bought it, but it's not. And finally, we have here the South Bend nine inch and this would be the same whether it's model A, B or C. So let's talk about these spindle bores now and why some of them are different sizes than others. First, let me explain the significance of the spindle bore to you. I th I'm sure all of you have been through this, but taking the little craftsman, for example, here, this is a piece of half-inch rod, and if you have a longer piece like this, often you're working on one end of it, and you're going to put it through the spindle like that, and then tighten the chuck and do your turning, whatever the operation happens to be. But if the stock is any larger than half inch, it will not fit through this bore. Now, if you have a shorter piece of a larger diameter stock, you probably can chuck it like this and tighten it up and you can get the job done. Now, this piece might need a support of a center here, but that is your way of getting around it. But if you got a long piece that you don't want to cut off that's larger than half inch, you cannot do it on this machine. Let's take a look at the others. So I have lined up in a neat row the little Unimat lathe, the six inch Craftsman Atlas lathe, the South Bend nine inch tool room lathe, and the South Bend model ABC. They're all the same on the end here. Now let's talk about the spindles. Okay, here's the little Unimat. Now this is a tiny lathe, so you would expect the diameter here to be quite small, and it is, in fact, quarter inch diameter. Maybe a little bit larger because actually it would be metric, but count on it being about a quarter inch. In fact, it's too small to even put a pencil in it. So that could be a problem on this little lathe, although you're probably just gonna be making tiny parts with small diameter stock. Next comes the six inch Atlas Craftsman lathe. Let me open that up. You can see that the bore here is relatively small. In fact, this is half inch stock, which I just showed you a minute ago. And that is pretty much the maximum that you could put in there. Maybe a 30 second larger, but there's not a whole lot of play. Okay, I've stepped over to the South Bend nine inch lathe and models A, B and C are all the same and probably several other South Bend models as well. And the Atlas and Craftsman lathes in the 10 inch and 12 inch size also have the same size bore. And in fact, it's three quarter diameter, maybe one thirty second larger if you look in the manual, because every one of the catalogs will tell you the diameter of this bore, which can be a big deal if you're doing larger work. Now let's look at the complete total answer for these tiny holes. Okay, a new arrival in my shop is the South Bend Tool Room Lathe, and it has a 9-inch swing, not 10-inch. And the bore here is very large. In fact, it's 1 and 3 eighths. This piece of stock is 1 and a quarter, so you can see that we can go even a little bit larger. So when you have large diameter stock, this machine is uh, just wonderful for that. Now, if you get into really big machines like A-Bomb has, they're gonna have larger diameters yet. But in general, you will often find that you are thwarted or restricted by what you can do by the diameter of the spindle bore. Now, why is this one particularly large? Let me show you. Any machine that is capable of holding 5C collets We'll have a large bore like this for the drawbar. It goes in there like that, and the collet on the other end. Let's go to the other end and show you what I'm talking about. 
And now looking at this end of the spindle, you can see how huge that hole is. And the purpose of that is there has to be an adapter for the 5C collets. And then the collet itself will be drawn in by the draw bar with the hand wheel back here that I just showed you. Well, that just about concludes the video. Tell me if you have ever run into this dilemma in your shop where the spindle hole is too small to accommodate your workpiece. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Now there's one more thing in extra credit here, a question that I would like you to answer, please. As you know, I have a new arrival in my shop and that's the South Bend nine inch tool room lathe. And this is the quick change gearbox for that machine. And that machine was made about in 1938. So sometime in the forties, they did away with this gearbox that has the single tumbler and the lever on the top. And they went to this design. And there might've been several different sizes in this design. But as I understand it, this was a patent that they did not own and they were paying royalties on that particular design. If anybody out there would like me to further uh, talk about the differences between these two, let me know. I would have to do some research. It's not something I can do off the top of my head, but is that of interest to you or is that just another boring topic that you would rather not have me cover? Leave your answer in the comment section below. And this is Mr. Pete saying over and out.